Hey, what's up guys? Rado here with Dirt and Iron. Husaberg FX for a 50 race enduro bike or Yamaha WR for a 50 with a wide ratio transmission. What was my decision and why? Let's talk about it today. So stick around. Before we get into it, I want to say thank you to all of you guys who helped me out and answered my question and you told me your opinion. It was a lot of people telling me, you know, what do you think I should do, whether to keep my WR or sell it, and buy, buy Husaberg. So thanks a lot for all that. There was a lot of people that was participating, a lot of people that was uh, telling me really good stuff. So if I should uh, count it, I think it's about 45% uh, of you was saying keep WR is a great bike do more videos it makes sense because a lot of people have this bike and these videos are uh, you know for a lot of people and about 55% was telling me oh get something new it will be interesting we don't know much about who's Get it. it's a great bike it looks interesting so it was 50 50 almost like 45 55 so a half half something like that well I'm not sure if you guys know but uh, I already used I already had who's a bike before I used to have a 2011 FE 570 about two years ago. I'm gonna put some pictures uh, here and uh, I'll also show you some clip uh, riding video. It wasn't my bike, but a friend of mine, he, he gave it to me for like one year. I had it in my garage. I could ride it, I could experience it. I could, you know, uh, kind of feel what the bike is about. So I already have an experience. It wouldn't be a brand new experience for me if I buy that Husaber. So I was kind of already in, you know, knowing what I'm, what I'm getting into if, I, if I'm buying the, the dirt bike. So with that said, uh, I decided not to get it. I didn't buy the Husaberg and uh, here's why. First of all, uh, and the biggest, biggest reason was that it was a red sticker. I was really looking for a green sticker bike with a good price and the bike that uh, would suit my kind of riding. I've been uh, riding a little bit faster trails lately, but also I want to have a bike that can do the faster trail and then also go on a single track. Like WR is great for the faster stuff, I really love it. And I took it to one little bit uh, rocky gnarly single track and I was hitting, uh, hitting the bottom of, uh, of a frame a little, little bit too often. Like on the KTM I don't hit it that much. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't say that WR is uh, for all kinds of riding I do. It fits about 70% of my riding, but I was looking to have a bike that can do 100% of it. And uh, I was thinking that, that uh, Husaberg can do it. That was the reason why I, I wanted to have it. But because it was, it, because it was the red sticker, it's a big, it's a big issue because I don't know what's going to happen with those red stickers. And uh, actually season is ending in a couple of weeks so legally i'm not i'm not supposed to ride in the in the forest that i i do like twice a week now i'm not supposed to go out there and i have no red sticker bike so pretty much in two weeks uh i'm not supposed to go out the only place where i can ride is my backyard track or i can go on a uh, motocross track well that's not really gonna happen but that's uh that's what it is uh that's what it is according to the rules here so if it would be a green sticker bike I would buy it in a heartbeat. I would find somehow that cash, put it down and then put my uh, WR for sale, get the money and just somehow, you know, make it work. But because it was a red sticker, uh, that was the main reason why I didn't buy it. And also the guy I was, uh, I was buying it from, I wanted to buy it from, uh, he was like 300 pounds guy and he tuned the suspension to, to his weight and skills and whatnot. So uh, I'm not really sure that that thing would work for me. I'm like 190 currently. So probably I would have to spend more money to get that bike uh, behave the way I want it. So uh, even though the bike was already having a lot of aftermarket stuff and it was pretty good stuff like FMF exhaust and it had a steering stabilizer and it has a lot of anodized stuff and uh, some shark fin things and uh, radiator protectors, things like that. That's all good stuff and uh, you know, I wouldn't have to spend money on that but I would have to go and probably spend who, know, who knows how much for suspension, maybe up to thousand dollars if you want to dial it really into your skill and into your weight and into the, the kind of riding that you do. So with all that said, uh, I decided to wait. As uh, many of you said, wait for some better 450, a little bit newer and uh, 
you know, also wait for the red and green sticker situation because we still don't know. You know, it might be that uh, I heard some rumor that California can just say, all right, everybody who has an off-road bike, you can ride it all year long. Even though it's a red sticker, we're going to change the registration into some kind of uh, sticker that you will pay annually and you can uh, use it all, all year long. So if that's going to happen, that would be amazing. In that case, I can just ride the, the WR or I can just get any XC bike or even two stroke, 300. That would probably be my first choice if the red sticker would be allowed all year on the trails. So because I still don't know what's going to happen and uh, that bike was red sticker and it will be exactly the, the same situation I'm in right now. And it's something between my RMZ and my WR, something right in the middle. So, you know, I can probably put different uh, exhaust on my RMZ, a little bit different gearing, and I can uh, probably have similar bike to that, uh, to that Husaberg. That's what I think. So, uh, at the end, it didn't really make much sense for me to spend that money and buy a Husaberg. I know some of you guys would be happy if I have it. Also, I would be happy. You know, I love dirt bikes. So, having a new dirt bike and that bike look really good, I would definitely be happy. It's not... Uh, it, it wasn't a bad bike. It's not an easy decision. I really wanted to get it at first, but then I thought about everything and uh, I just decided to wait a little bit more. And also, you know, it's not easy to come up with all the cash and uh, then put bike for sale. Who knows how long it would take. And after I would sell the bike, it would still be underwater. So I would be spending more money on the Husaberg. So that's why I just decided to, to wait. All right, my friends. Well, thanks a lot for uh, you who helped me out and, uh, you know, who participated and uh, everybody else who is watching this channel. Thanks for your support. I really appreciate it. And don't forget, whatever you do, stay motivated. See you later.